so second ride test final ride test of this motorcycle and we've already think i put the first vlog up of this uh, the last couple of days so this one should be going up tonight it's the second road test of the lexmoto venom in gray and we now have the new mirrors on so just quick look around the bike and we're going to be putting the final bit of road mileage on this so the last four miles to put on this bike so just take this off the main stand and with these mirrors I do love these new pointy designs on this so you get a lot more of view of the road so it's about I'd say about a quarter of my shoulder in this mirror and the same on the near side and I do like these as well the nice clear indicator on your brake fluid so when you've got the bike on the level bang on the maximum you can actually check your brake fluid and same goes for the rear reservoir as well so we're just going to work our way out into the traffic I'll say put another about four miles on this bike so it's the final ride test on the morning of handover just to check that this bike is effective and working correctly before we hand it to the customer uh, pulls through the gears absolutely perfectly once again I've checked all the levers, checked all the brakes, we've checked all the lighting circuit, ignition, horn, absolutely everything on this bike. And it's sitting at a nice steady 42. So we're going to go slightly different route this time. And just show you what these little uh, Venoms are like for pulling power. So we're going to basically run it up my favourite hill, do my hill test, and I'll see if I have any loss of power on a hill climb. Just obviously show you what it's like with a 13 stone rider on the bike. And how much a one in eight steep hill affects a bike. Pulling down through the gearbox, hard in on the front brake, absolutely perfect. And I'm just waiting for the lights to change. So from the pull off, through the box very quickly. In the fourth, in the fifth, and then just bring the speed up. And for the purposes of this, I'm just going to lock my wrist off, hold it bang on 42 mile an hour, and see how much a big steep hill affects the bike with my weight on it. And obviously these engines are designed for longevity, so they're not as much horsepower as uh, some of the other 125 makes. And they're still sitting at 42. Coming now on the steep part of the hill, still at 42, and it's just sitting there and chugging away. So no drop in speed whatsoever. So even a big hill doesn't affect it that much. These little venoms have got so much pulling power, and the same with the vipers as well. So 41, 42. And a good view of the road behind me. So two miles on the bike already. And the final two to do. And we're just going to be coming off here and then obviously coming back down the hill. And Speedo's still sitting at 42. And my hand is in exactly the same place. I've not moved it at all. So I say this one's going out today, it's going out to Matthew. Obviously we're waiting for the mirrors. We did have a minor issue with a uh, throttle body. 
but the part arrived this morning, changed it out. Bike runs absolutely perfectly, hence what warranty and uh, PDI inspection is for. And just working back down, and we're going to come back down the hill. So I say these little uh, Lex Motos. 99.9% .9 of the time, absolutely no issues, but that's what the PDI circuit is for. Road test the bike, check everything's all A-OK. -okay. And it did ride fine, but I just wasn't happy with the occasional holding back on me, so we ordered a new throttle body on this one. Even though there was nothing absolutely wrong with the bike, I wasn't happy with the, uh, the final bit of the ride. And as a matter of course, I just said to him, mm, can we get one? Yeah, no problem. Let's get one ordered. Spread legs, my oh yeah, one on the way, arrives tomorrow morning, next day. Job done. And absolutely perfect now. It's got oodles of power. And obviously I'm not going to push it too hard, but just a twist of the wrist and you can feel that that power just surge in so that's what I was lacking last time so just a quick shoulder check we're going to work our way back into town now take it back to the garage give the customer a call you can come get your bike he's going to be a very very happy bunny now I've got about uh, five or six bikes all like, going out over the next three days, so we've got the two Commandos going out, the uh, Vegas and the Commando uh, Standard. Motor Titan's going out as well. All of those are all spot on, and we've got a couple more Titan ride tests to come out. Obviously every customer has a ride test, which is something that most dealers don't do. We do, uh, we do it as a, an over and above thing, just so the customer can see that their bike is absolutely perfect. And it also covers us, should the customer go, well, no, oh, my bike's playing shit up straight away. Really? Well, I've just ridden it for 20 miles. We've had no issues at all. Oh, it's doing this, it's doing that. Get it back into us then. Nine times out of t 10, it's normally driver error or rider error. I think it's the one we had uh, last time. Bike wouldn't start, wasn't pulling his brake in to start his scooter. That was sold <laughs> pretty instantly. The electrical issue we solved the other day, and obviously I've road test that one this morning. All good. So we've got a very, very good bike team down at the garage. Know what they're doing. They can normally solve most problems. And we've got a lot of bikes that are obviously not ours that are coming in for servicing and repairs. So we don't just do the Lexmodo range, we do a full range of all your big bikes as well, your small bikes, your 125. So whatever brand you've got, if you need a uh, service on it, you need an MOT, or you need just tyres, repairs, chain and sprocket, anything at all, give the guys at Eclipse a call, 01908 643 603. As usual, I tell everybody, uh, on my social media, go to redbomb.co.uk, first page, down the bottom, link to Eclipse Motorcycles, all the phone numbers are there, their Facebook as well, so their Facebook Eclipse Motorcycles, look for two scooters, all my social media is on my social media page. So hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notifications for all the uh, other stuff that you want to follow. And of course in every YouTube video is a list of moto vloggers that I follow, so if you fancy a little bit of uh, bike stuff and you've got nothing to do in the evening, sit on YouTube, have a follow through some of my uh, bikers that I follow, and the, I've got a huge list, and obviously they all follow me. And if you do happen to be about, and obviously you're watching this video, so it'll be this coming Sunday, which is the uh, 5th of July, we're due for a ride out. So we're going to be riding out from the garage with a load of uh, Lex Meadow bikers going up to Super Sausage. Which should be a good bit of fun. But if you ever want to join us on one of the ride outs, obviously drop us a line. Or drop me a, a message to my inbox at Rev Bomb on the Facebook. Quite welcome to join us on ride outs. We do uh, about a couple of months, two or three a month, and it's normally on a Sunday. I work exceedingly long hours, normally 7 till 7. But uh, until then, I'm going to wish you to uh, be well, ride safe. And until uh, the next video, it's a goodbye from me.